If Angelo State big man Amari Gadul had never taken a leap of faith back in high school in Kenya, this and throws it down. Oh my goodness, he threw it down over Texas. Would have never happened. After high school, Amari agreed to play collegiate basketball for a coach named Larry Brown. No, not the SMU one, but the Ranger Junior College one. Amari arrived by playing in what we call Dallas, but he just called it beautiful. But it was a different story when he started the trek to where he'd be going to school. All I saw was just like land, land. Then we, when we got to Rangers, it was a little bit disappointing because I, when I heard I'm going to college in the U.S., you know, I thought it was going to be like buildings and stuff. And then we got to Ranger, it's just, you know, Ranger Junior College, it was just like a little small college, man. But luckily for Amari, he wasn't at Ranger Junior College for too long. That same year, two great basketball minds decided to pay him a visit from a certain Division II university in San Angelo. Contigo Boone and Chris Beard, they used to come to our games and stuff. Then after the season, they just came talk to me and wanted me to come. I mean, everybody's always going to look for size. Amari obviously had it. But number two, you know, is character. I mean, you could just tell from the first time he shook his hand, he looked you in the eye and you knew that like you could count on him day in and day out. But when first recruiting Amari three years ago, then head coach Chris Beard, who's now at Arkansas Little Rock, and current head coach Cinco Boone made one thing very clear to him if he decided to accept their offer. First, you need to know that you come in because you're going to be first a student then an athlete, so you come in to get a degree then play basketball. And uh, I really like the idea. And it turns out he wasn't the only Amari that approved of what the Angelo State coaches were saying. His uncle, Amari Gadul, whom he was named after, played a big role in the forward's life growing up in Africa and said the world is more than playing ball. He really wanted me to stay in school because he told me that one day school going to pay off and like, you know, like, I can play basketball, but I can, I'm going to get to a point where basketball, I can't play no more. Unfortunately, exactly three okay. weeks ago, the elder Amari Gadul passed away at the age of 63. And the next day, the younger Amari had to face a difficult Tarleton State team for a crucial conference game. He could have sat the game out for obvious reasons, but he didn't. And he ended up having a huge impact as he owned the paint on defense, coming up with three enormous blocks while putting in 14 points on the offensive end. And the majority of this coming in the second half, after sitting out most of the first with foul trouble. This game was one for the ages, and in the end, the Rams came out on top in double overtime, 87 to 86. I mean, it really seemed like you played from the outside looking in, inspired. Do you agree or disagree? Um, I would agree. Yeah, I mean, it was. I wanted to honor him and just give it all and play for him. For KLST Sports, I'm Andrew Nepsey.